What's up, everybody? It is Lauren Delisa Coleman bringing you another episode directly from the Venice Film Festival. And I am super excited. You guys know I'm always excited to bring you these, but even more so because we have actually our first actress who we are interviewing. Typically, it's a cinematographer, director, writer, um, but we are really so fortunate to have this woman with us and she is in high demand. So we're not gonna keep her too long. She's about to run off to a photo shoot, but we have a few moments with her now. And I am very happy to introduce to you, Lucia Machino. Hello to everybody. <laughs> yes. She is um, on, at, I guess, at a lounge on the terrace at the fabulous five-star hotel Excelsior. Um, and then running off from there to do a photo shoot. But like I said, we are stealing her for a few minutes because she's in um, a wonderful film, which I'm going to probably mispronounce a little bit in Italian, but I will try my best. Um, Preghiera della Sera, which translates to every prayer. And there is a, a kind of subtitle, right? A Diary of a Walk. And this is a film on like, has a number of different levels and a very interesting background. So Lucia, first of all, welcome to the show. And second, could you begin by telling us what this film is about? Yes, of course. The film catch a special moment in our life because it's not really a normal film. It's in between a film, a theater and a documentary. It's like catching a special moment between us, me, Filippo Timi, the other actor, and the director. Giuseppe Piccioni, just in the moment in which the first lockdown was passed, so we had the feeling of this pandemia a little bit on the back. It's very about the desire of holding each other, of being together, because the show is a documentary that stay with us, is very free, is very about the feeling in between the, um, uh, the actor and the character, and in between the film and the show. It's, it's like um, a story, it's not really a story, but it's the, the um, come si dice testimonianza, it's like a, a little story about this moment. Yes, huh? yes. So it's difficult to explain exactly this story. It's more about an atmosphere uh, that is of desire, of freedom, of uh, reburning, or of uh, rebirthing, uh, uh, and this is. I think the, 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 the taste of the film. It is really about like the experience, which I thought was just so interesting. I have not really seen um, uh, an approach like this before, right? But I think this is something that was perfect for you because you have a rich, deep background in theater. Mm -hmm. And so, and in television, you are working across all mediums. So yes. was there much challenge in you preparing for this particular role? Yeah, uh, the, the role of the show, because uh, we have a film about a show, a theater show. So the role is the role of the theater show, but uh, is, in, is different from the role of the film. Because in the film, I am between Lucia and the character. So we, we just... Uh, um, trust to the director Giuseppe Piccioni that is a wonderful uh, director of actors maybe is the best uh, director I ever met never met uh, for leading actors because it's so delicate and so he take the nuance of the of playing and so it's it was very strange uh, film for us because it's it's very free you go in the morning and he see, and he says uh, now we can do this part of the theater show but we do in near to the sea it's it's like changing changing things. It's for for this reason it's difficult to say. It's not a normal character with a story with a um, costume. So for me the challenge was to let it go, to trust, to um, to put myself totally in the hand uh, of something that is not written. Is something that is. Uh, uh, going on uh, in the moment. That's right. that was the challenge for me. 
So since you work in all mediums now, television, film, theater, do you have a favorite? In this moment, I, I am more curious and I'm, I have more attraction to the cinema because uh, I know less and because uh, you, can, you can just think and leave something and the public can be with you. But in these 24 years that I worked, um, I, I was thinking this morning, I, I don't have any year that I don't do theater. So maybe I need to do this because uh, I, I, never, I never stop to, to, to going on with theater. And sometimes somebody tell me it's really your, um, you are safe through theater because theater give you a really um, strong, uh, um, come si dice radici, a, a real strong um, attachment to the growth, to, to, the, to the ground. It's, it's really with the public, it's really direct and uh, it's really alive. So I, I, I can say that I don't want to choose. I, I would like to go uh, with both, with the three, with both, cinema and theater, uh, the best, but in this moment also the series, so the television is uh, a, a lot, uh, much more than, be, than before. You are just so busy. Um, you have won many awards too. Um, what drew you to acting in the first place, Lucia? Ah, this is a very good question because uh, I, I started uh, from another another path i was studying the science and uh, but i i i, I felt the, the need to be in the present in uh, with the other totally in a, in a kind of intensity like the dream so i wanted to be with the other in that explosion and uh, uh, explosion of existence together is like philosophical uh, uh, reasons but then I, I started and I never stopped it I don't know exactly I, 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 if I follow um, an impulse like because I, I, I I'm very rational also but then I, I needed to do this and I had the, the, the come si dice la fortuna the lucky to meet people like Giuseppe Piccioni like Filippo Timi like because you can um, meet it's like a, artistic meeting are very important in which you can recognize each other and we three and the film also has the same uh, desire of something truth the, of the truth of the truth of the uh, playing of something that go over what you really uh, over control something that happen okay and this is the the, po the point of uh, meeting uh, uh, between uh, the three of this film, the director and the actors. How wonderful. Well, this is not the, the first time, obviously, you have been at Venice Film Festival. Why do you feel that this festival is so important and remains so strong? Because I think that uh, for an actor to go to the Venice Festival is um, uh, a very important inspiration to see big actors playing uh, and also very important for taking a bigger breath about what we are doing uh, because the ci cinema is uh, an art that uh, is all in the world is something that stay with us and so I think it's important to come here to go a little bit more to um, remember that is uh, something very uh, nobile. Um, com nobile, no, come si dice? Noble. Nobile, noble. Uh, something that is important for, uh, for, for, for the human being. So I think for us it's important to come here. It's not only to do the red carpet, it's also beautiful to do. But it's also beautiful to see other actors playing in beautiful film. Uh, it's like really to, to take a breath. That's wonderful. So yes. um, for you, for this festival, for this year, um, what has been your favorite thing so far that you are doing? Has it been a special meeting, 
special film, um, you, you know, maybe some of your photo shoots. What has been the highlight for you so far for this festival? I'm here also like a jury of a section. Uh, so I'm, I'm here all the 12 days to see uh, films, uh, uh, to judge one, to choose with the other people of the jury. So I'm here for the film uh, that is tomorrow uh, and uh, also for, for um, to be uh, a part of the jury. I uh, didn't know about the jury too. Yeah. So you are yes, crazy. And so I'm here all the time. For the first time I'm, I'm in the festival 12 days. Normally I come just two days and I go back. So it's really beautiful to stay uh, longer. And uh, and I, I have still not see what uh, which will be the effect of seeing our film with the public, because uh, as actor, as actor, this is very strong to see what you do with the public. This is so great. I'm so glad that we have the chance to talk with you. So, do you want to add anything? Um, you know, before before we finish, is there anything else you would like to add? Yes, I want to specificate maybe that so the film is about the rehearsal of two actors with a director that come from cinema and for the first time do theater and we do the rehearsal from june to september and the arrival of the public the public with the mask the feeling of this period of being with the others and being separate and all this this is about the the, the story I love how the director said in his notes that he did not want to really focus on the pandemic so much, but as the um, love as a contagion in this film. So like you said, the people coming together and coming yes. together for the first time to work as creatives is really like the focus. So I think that it's just very, it's very creative and very- Yes, yes, yes. This, this is the feeling of the film. And it is uh, with, uh, because Giuseppe Piccioni has all, uh, always a very uh, melancholic touch. So it's the f desire of being together, but with like a sensation of something that is losing something. So it's, it's difficult to, to tell with words for, for me, <laughs> for me. But and I this. think actually um, I lived in Paris for many years and so when you look at uh, cinema from Paris, from Italy, et cetera, the melancholy that you speak of, I, I feel is very more easily portrayed there than maybe in American cinema. It is, yeah. it is, I remember French friends saying, it always has to be a happy ending in America. Why? You know, we, we don't mind to see the good and the bad. So. It's a mix between melancholic, uh, freedom, improvisation, uh, the show is very, changing so well lucia thank you so much i want to make sure that we don't keep you from your next shoot i don't want you to be late so <laughs> i want to let you go but again thank you so much for your time it was a pleasure to speak with you it was my first uh, english interview by by zoom so <laughs> okay thank you very much it is not easy to to speak in a second language and just you know, like that off the top of the head. So I appreciate it. We all do. Thank you so much. We also. I also appreciate it. Ciao. And thank see you, you all. See for you in America. Um, yeah. I'm sure that Lucia is just, you know, going to be your favorite now because she is just uh, really so warm. So thank you so much for watching. And you know, we will be bringing you even more interviews from the Venice Film Festival. I am Lauren Delisa Coleman for film.io and thank you for watching.